<laughs> anyway, so Ari, uh, he made the video first when he was pulling up to to the school, mm-hmm. you know, starting on his day, his, his first day of coaching uh, HBCU Bethune Cookman, and he was disappointed with the way his office was. It was still dirty, left over from the, the other coach. Uh, he basically said they need to get rid of that broken mentality. All right, then they fired him. My first thing is. You air read. Mm-hmm. You, I'm talking about if I'm looking for outside. He air read. Mm-hmm. He used to a certain right caliber of life. Standard. Just fo- mm-hmm. Standard. Exactly. Right. Of not even in, just football, in, just life. Yeah. So, yes, when he come and see that it's not even. Not up to par. At not even a high school level, public high school level. Like, this, that's a problem, bro. Right. Now, some say that he shouldn't have got on social media and said anything. I mean, what well, then I think like what he gonna do? Go tell the president what they gonna tell him? Like, hey, we can't afford it. You pay for it. That's the same shit they told Dion. Mm-hmm. Right. Continue. Cook. Go so ahead, now, bro. What do you think? I, I go ahead and throw, throw it on. I throw it on. I throw it on on social media so that at least I can get some eyes to this and maybe I can get some help. Mm-hmm. Maybe I can get somebody to throw us some attention money. to a problem. Or maybe you, you the 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 president of the school, the this or that. You like, all right, we we're gonna get this fixed. We'll fix this out for you. We'll get it worked out. Right. Mm. One of those could have happened to me, both of them, I don't know. But boom, he posted this video where he got up on the podium. I am not withdrawing my name as the head coach of Bethune Cookman, the administration and the AD are forcing me out. Thank you to all that supported me and my staff through this process. God bless God, good day and God bless him. So yeah. So they got they got butt hurt. Cause they felt like, oh, he was talking. Talking down on him, talking bad about nothing, but he did later apologize and you know saying that his language and tone were, was unacceptable as a father, mm-hmm. as a coach, as a leader. But you know, in that time, I mean, you you heed it, right? I can understand why. But. This is what I'm gonna say, <clears throat> and I've I've been on record saying this a, a couple of times in regards to in, in regards to HBCUs. When it comes to Especially, you know, we're talking about athletic programs. Well, heck, not, I, I wouldn't even, I'll take it off. I, I'm talking about just any program in general. I don't care if it's a, a right. um, your journalism department, you in a medical school, whatever. I mean, we have, what, how many HBCUs here in Nashville? Four, five HBCUs here in Nashville. Um, American mm-hmm. Baptist College, CSU, Fisk, Meharry. Um, I feel like I'm missing one. Maybe just four. But anyways, one thing that I would say is, especially for, uh, for schools that are state funded, they're getting, they're getting money. Right. The mentality that he's speaking of, I can't speak for him, but I'll just say where well, I'm. I'll, I'll, I'll say for me, that broke mentality is a mentality that I feel like a lot of these HBCUs do have. When they do get money, I feel like though they those funds aren't allocated like how they should be Probably, allocated. Yeah, right. Let's take football off of it. Let's take that 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 off in in athletics. Look at just the school itself. Right. You've been open for. Yeah, that's what he said right here. You've been they, open since. 1800s. They got all right. kinds of stuff going on around here, hoarding these buildings with nothing but trash in them. And Dion was right, and I know I'm right. They got some people in here who be snitching to their ass. Yeah, I'm, I'm and, and it's true. It's like, yo, like, right. I, I haven't been to Clark into like the or how it was like like the big ones like in DC and in, uh, in Atlanta. So right. I don't know what they look like. Right. I've seen I've seen we've HBCUs, been to the ones out here. Lamar, Lamar right. Owen. I've seen Lane and Jackson. I've seen the ones around here. Yeah. And these schools bring in bukus of money. We know about the classic. We know about the homecoming time. We know about boosters. I mean, I, I want to say Oprah has given money to TSU. You know, she she went there. Things of that nature. I don't th- see no updates. My thing, nigga, is how you gonna find somebody you desperately need? <laughs> like, hey, ain't nobody, like, everybody just jumping to come bro, close to like you. Waking up in the ambulance, like you fired. Like, right. what you talking about, nigga? Like, right. you, need, I need, yeah, right. you need me right yeah. now. Right. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Nah, it what, is. What's really crazy? What's really crazy? They got this man to cuss, bro. You got on who? They got they got this man cussing. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he he don't he don't cuss. He don't. Yeah, you think about he, he, Brian Dawkins? Oh, I mean, shit. He cussed on just, the field. I ain't never heard him cuss outside the field. Just uh, like, you okay. know what I'm saying? Oh, I mean, uh, but, it, but there's some... The, the thing about it is, okay, look, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, whatever you do say publicly about your employer, now since I'm saying you probably gonna get fired now. Right. right? I, that, that is the thing. But there is some truth to in what he's saying. I'm curious to see what's gonna be the next steps, though. Because I, mean, I can't get on here just talk, talk shit about my employer and then get out. 
I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get fired. I, I, I get that. Now, I I'm mean, not saying that he probably shouldn't I got mean, fired. But at the end of the day, he there is some some ba- some some validity. Yeah, in, that's what I'm about to like say. Like what the man saying. I'm about to say shit. Like if but if what he's saying is true, then why are we even mad? Like he just trying to make shit better. Y'all why? Yeah, plus he ain't work for them yet. He was just they had to sign the contract. Right. Yeah, he just signed the contract. But they bullshitted him because you know what they was trying to do? They yeah. was trying to use his name right. to sell tickets. By spending the least amount of money possible on the dang on football, it's the same mm, thing they did to Dion. Right. They try to use mm-hmm. his name, make all this money, and he's like, "Where the fuck are money going?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? The money mm-hmm. I'm spending my money, I'm getting Under Armour and all these people to sponsor the kids. Where's mm-hmm. the fucking ticket sale money going? Mm-hmm. It ain't going back to the football team. And we still don't answer that question. Still, yeah, they still don't need, answer that question, bro. They need to audit these. They need to audit some of these schools, though. <sighs> ain't the school like the church? Did they get audited? Church, it's it's so state funded schools do get out of it state, okay. because it's it's uh it's I mean they gotta pay taxes it ain't like a private school I don't right. know about private schools mm. I, I don't know how that works but I mm. think state funded schools do get out of it I mean it's a it's, it's not a private uh, institution if if like, you getting money from uh you know government whatever case I'm pretty sure they do get out of it I'm not okay. sure about uh like I said private school I don't know how that works 